People near Liberty, Texas couldn't spend New Year's Day at home. Floodwaters along the Trinity River have uh, forced 35,000 people to evacuate. Some people have been out of their homes since Christmas Eve because of the high waters. People in London turned out to see the Lord Mayor's Parade this morning. Various community groups parade through areas of London as part of the New Year's Day tradition. And finally, some hardy souls in Rome started their new year with a chilly dip in the Tiber River. Diving into the river on the first day of the year is supposedly an ancient Roman tradition. And that's the world in a minute. Well, the new year started uh, with a new life for one Cedar Rapids couple. Al and Sandra Mitz are the proud parents of the first baby of 1992. Here you see Amanda Mitz, who was born at 1 o'clock this morning. She weighs 5 pounds, 2 ounces. She's 19 and a half inches long, and she was born at St. Luke's Hospital in Cedar Rapids. At our house today, we took down the Christmas tree, and now that the holidays are over, I'm sure many of you are doing the same thing. What do you do with the old tree? Well, you might take it to the Indian Creek Nature Center in Cedar Rapids. The Nature Center is asking people to drop off trees from now through January 6th. The center will cut the trees into wood chips to cover the Cedar Greenbelt National Recreation Trail. Just leave your tree in the Nature Center parking lot at 6665 Otis Road, southeast in Cedar Rapids. Joe Winters is up next with a look at the forecast for the first few days of the new year. But first, here's our final holiday greeting of the season from an Eastern Iowa service person. Hi, my name is Sergeant Doris White, and I'm stationed at 43rd Surgical Hospital at Camp Humphreys, Korea. And I'm waking up Waterloo, Iowa, and Sioux City, Iowa, talking to my Aunt Betty and Uncle John, and my beautiful, wonderful daughters, Gina and Gabrielle. And I want to say have a very wonderful Merry Christmas, and I'm doing great. Now here's a look at today's winning lotto numbers. Eyewitness News Nightcast will continue in a moment. For $11.97, you might think a 386SX computer with a 40 meg hard drive and a color monitor is a pretty good deal. But it's not good enough for Best Buy. We've got to sell thousands of these Magnavox 386SX computers with 40 meg hard drive, 1 meg memory, dual floppies, and VGA color monitor. So, for $11.97, you also get this Panasonic 24-pin letter quality printer, printer cable, paper, floppy disk, storage box, and software. The whole package, just $11.97. Why buy just a computer? Get everything you need for just $11.97 at Best Buy. From the gates of hell comes the ultimate evil. Who are you? The devil. A demonic power terrorizes a peaceful planet. These people are all convinced that their world is coming to an end. And a deadly game of seduction could steal Picard's soul. I can do anything for you, Captain. Your life is in danger here. Enterprise, come in. Your ship is gone, Captain. Duel with the Devil on Star Trek The Next Generation. Tonight, after Nightcast. Here's the solution to your New Year's resolution. Get a six-week limited membership for just $36. That's right, six weeks for just $36. Run, bike, row, swim, play racquetball, do aerobics or weight training. The choice is yours. But whatever you do, don't miss your chance to get a six-week limited membership for just $36. Stop by and try New Life Fitness World, East, West, or Downtown Cedar Rapids, and in Iowa City. James Abel invite you to join me for the action as Hawkeye basketball goes through another winning season on 16 Country KCRG. I love it, I love it, I love it! Here's to a happy new year from Econo Foods. It's somewhat sad to reflect on another year gone by, but it's also a time to celebrate as we look forward to the future and all it has in store. So why not throw a party? We'll help with the preparations, offering the widest selection of quality meats and produce. Everything you need to ring in the new year right, this year and for many years to come. A safe and happy new year to you and your family from all of us at Econo Foods. I imagine uh, quite a few people may not even be aware of what the weather was like today because they were sitting inside <laughs> watching football all day long. Probably, yeah. but uh, there was a little bit of snow we saw yeah. here and there. Not quite as much as we had expected. We expected oh, about one to three inches across sections of Iowa, but the storm really didn't materialize. 
there was enough precipitation out there to cause a little slick travel if you were out and about sometime today. Here's what it looks outside right now. A little bit of light snow, relative humidity at 100%. That is giving us some fog. Dew point at 31. Our pressure falling, 30.21. East winds at 7, and the wind chill right now at 23 degrees. The Iowa City Hawkeye right now, 32 degrees. And with temperatures again near freezing, may not all be light snow out there. There may be a little bit of freezing drizzle as well. In some spots, again, it's very, very light. Cedar Rapids right now, the Hawkeye showing some fog and 31 degrees. Here in Waterloo, temperatures also 31 degrees. Dubuque also reporting a temperature of 31 degrees. Afternoon highs, really not much to show. 35 degrees, that from Montezuma. 30 degrees coming in from Don McGatlin in Washington. 32 in Anamosa. So from 30 to 35 degrees sums up all of our weather spot, our highs today. Tonight's forecast, again, that light snow will be around. Accumulations, definitely less than an inch. Maybe a little light drizzle as well. 26 to 30, east-southeast winds at about 4 to 8 miles per hour. Tomorrow morning, some dense fog is a possibility. Again, we'll see some flurries. Those flurries should end as we head through the afternoon, but still cloudy. 31 to 35 degrees with a light and variable breeze. By the time we head through tomorrow night, slowly but surely, partly cloudy skies are going to be found. Temperatures still unseasonably mild for this time of the year. Normal low, 13 degrees. We're going to be from 24 to 28 degrees with a light westerly wind. Now, today we did see a storm system pass through the area. It brought down some slightly cooler weather across sections of the northern plains in the Midwest, and it was mainly found across the upper portion of the atmosphere. In fact, our jet stream tonight is showing that New Year's storm pushing across the plains. What you notice, though, back across the west, that's our next weather maker, and it's this bubble of warmth. What's going to happen? This storm races off, and yes, some warmer temperatures are going to move in as we head through the rest of the week into the beginning of the weekend. With that bubble of warmth moving in, things are going to stay quiet as well. The satellite picture shows that. Not much happening out west. We still have the low clouds hanging in across the central part of the nation, but we are going to find partly cloudy skies moving in, so slowly but surely things will improve as we head through the later part of, Jan of the beginning of January. Rather, a mixture of precipitation right now across most of the Midwest, across the mid-Mississippi Valley. It will push out of the area as we head through the day tomorrow. An area of high pressure beginning to drift in, and that will bring us a return with a little bit of sunshine by Friday. Here's our five-day outlook, and you'll see things not bad. Partly cloudy skies Friday, Saturday, a lot of sunshine around on Sunday. And look at the temperatures. After a high of about 30 on Friday, we'll warm up to 38 degrees on Saturday and up to 40 degrees on Monday. Our weather just is not going to change a whole lot. It is going to be great to see the sun again. It will be nice. Wild. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Well, the big question in sports tonight is uh, who is number one in college football? They tried to answer that today, Bruce, with eight, <laughs> eight college bowl games. Highlights and scores coming at you on your 24-hour news source, KCRG TV 9. I just came from the IRS, <laughs> and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> No, no, the inventory reduction sale at Big Sur Waterbed. <laughs> You'll be happy, too, when you see how we've cut prices on one-of-a-kind, selected floor model, and scratch-and-dent waterbeds and bedroom furniture. But hurry for best selection to our once-a-year IRS. I really saved. Big Sur Waterbeds, America's largest, across from the Lindale Mall in Cedar Rapids. I'm Roger Flink, General Manager of Iowa Realty, Iowa's largest, most sophisticated real estate company with more financial resources and customer services than any other real estate company. Every Sunday morning, you can view dozens of the finest real estate values in the area offered by Iowa Realty. Whether you're buying or selling, it's the fast and easy way to do your real estate shopping. It's Iowa Realty Showcase of Homes, Sunday mornings at 10, right here on KCRG. The floors may be empty now, but on Sunday, January 12th, the Five Season Center will come to life as the first annual KCRG Super Warehouse Sale comes to Cedar Rapids. For one day only, the Super Warehouse Sale will feature wall-to-wall -wall savings. For eight hours only, dozens of area retailers will be discounting a wide variety of merchandise at 20 to 70% off. Free admission, hourly door prizes, a grand prize giveaway, and fantastic savings of 20 to 70% at the KCRG Super Warehouse Sale. Don't miss it. When severe weather threatens, call the KCRG TV9 Weather Lab for complete information. In Cedar Rapids, call City Line 363-7000, Category 2020. The Iowa State Cyclones take on Minnesota Saturday at 1.30 on TV9. Brought to you by your local Ford dealer. Quality people, quality products. 
Why pick a salsa whose recipe probably came from a boardroom when there's one that came from a real Mexican restaurant? Chi Chi Salsa, now at your grocer's. Well, this has been uh, the day for college football, I guess you could say. Your eyes look pretty good. I've, I've been watching a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> I took in a few, too. Uh, the big question, of course, who's number one? Who's number one? The Washington Huskies played like a number one team as they crunched Michigan in the Rose Bowl. So dominant were the Huskies that by early in the fourth quarter, Michigan had not been able to put together more than five offensive plays in a row in this ball game. The Huskies pretty well shut down Heisman winner Desmond Howard. As a matter of fact, this was his only catch of the afternoon out in Pasadena. But it did set up a Michigan touchdown, and here it comes, Elvis Gerbach looking to his end zone, Waller Smith, and it was 7-7 to -7 at that point. It was 13-7 to -7 in the third quarter, Billy Joe Hobart scrambling, and then he finds Mark Bruner right along the end line, and the Huskies were on their way. Early in the fourth quarter, Hobart once again, this time to Aaron Pierce. The final, Washington 34, Michigan 14. We couldn't run the ball. We could not run the football. I mean, it shows. I mean, you can't run the football. You, you aren't going to have, you know, we aren't going to be very good. I don't think there's no doubt we deserve, we deserve a ring after this victory and after 12-0 season. Under the Orange Bowl, where number one Miami came out of the smoke to take on Nebraska. This is Gino Toretta to Kevin Williams. It was a rainy night. And they were on their way. The Hurricane defense just superb tonight. They shut out Nebraska for the first time in 18 years. The final, Miami 22, Nebraska 0. Who's number one in the country, Miami or Washington? That's the question. One other Big Ten team was in action today. The Ohio State Buckeyes played Syracuse at the Hall of Fame Bowl in Tampa. And not a good day for the Buckeyes in this one. Uh, this one really one of the more competitive bowls of the game, however. Day, bowls of the day, however. Carlos Snow going in to score for Ohio State. Special teams also played a big role. Watch here. Syracuse back to punt. The Buckeyes block it. They recover in the end zone for a touchdown. But the game winner came with seven minutes to go. Syracuse with the ball. This is Marvin Graves. Play action drops back and finds Antonio Johnson wide open 60 yards. Syracuse over Ohio State 24-17. The best game of the day. How about the final one right here on TV9? Sugar Bowl, Notre Dame against Florida. The Irish came from a 13 to nothing deficit to win it. The final, 39 to 28. Let's check out all the scores now very quickly. In the Rose Bowl, Washington over Michigan. The Orange Bowl, Miami shut out Nebraska. The Sugar Bowl, for Notre Dame over Florida, 39-28. In the Cotton Bowl, Florida State beat Texas A&M 10 to 2. Fiesta Bowl, Penn State all over Tennessee, 42-17. Citrus Bowl, California beats Clemson, 37-13. Hall of Fame Bowl, Syracuse 24, Ohio State 17. And in the first game of the day, it was East Carolina over North Carolina State 37 to 17. Well, not everyone was digesting 12 hours of football today. Up in Dubuque, it was wall-to-wall -wall basketball as the ninth annual National Catholic Basketball Tournament tipped off. And it doesn't happen tomorrow till you take care of details today. The Viterbo okay. Vihawks, the defending men's champions, regrouping at halftime of their game with Aquinas of Grand Rapids, Michigan. The Vihawks got out to an early lead in this ball game. This is Mark Skogan with the move to the hoop. The Turbo gunned for an unprecedented third straight NCBT title, and they took step one today with a 84-66 victory. On the women's side, Mount Mercy defeated Seattle 84-75. Mount Mercy is the number one seed. Their coach is Dave Slifer. Uh, we enjoy being number one, knowing that St. Ambrose is clipping right on their heels, and hopefully we'll have a rematch of last year's championship, us against Ambrose. Ambrose won today, beating Avila 86-45. Aquinas beat Clark 81-71. And St. Scholastica over Laura 77-76. Now on the men's side, St. Ambrose beat St. Joseph's. Mount Mercy over St. Francis 66-61. And Loris beat the College of Notre Dame 59-52. And Bruce will be covering the men's and women's finals live here on TV9 Sunday afternoon. All right, if you could pick, who would be number one in college football? Well, the only fair way is to split it, but I still think Washington's a better football team. I do, team. too. I really do. Yeah. Washington's tough. Yeah. Thanks. And when we, we return, we'll be giving you a look at some of the uh, highlights of today's annual Tournament of Roses parade. Stay with your 24-hour news source, KCRG TV9. Plan now to attend the 5th Annual KCRG Bridal Fair, Sunday, February 16th at the Five Seasons Center. 
This unique bridal showcase features wedding fashions and formal wear by Hope's Bridal Boutique. Panel discussions, free prizes, and exciting displays full of great ideas for your special day. Brides can register for their free invitations at all Northwest Fabric locations. This is the one. Hello, Americans. This is Paul Harvey. Listen to America's favorite commentator, Paul Harvey, Monday through Friday on 16 Country KCRG. Good day. You don't need the discomfort of your period, but Tylenol, Advil, or Model 200 only leave pain behind. You still may have tension and water gain, so do it right. Take Pamprin. It relieves pain, tension, and water weight gain. Pamprin. Period relief, not just pain relief. No opponent is tougher than pain, but you can stay in the game with Flexol. When one pain-relieving gel is endorsed by the athletic trainers in pro football, baseball, basketball, and hockey, you know it's the best. Flexol, the pain relief pro trainers recommend. And finally tonight, if you weren't up early enough to watch the Tournament of Roses parade, here's a look at uh, some of what you missed. This was the 103rd year for the Rose Parade in Pasadena, California. About a million people enjoyed sunny skies along the parade route today. The beautiful flower and plant-covered floats had everything on them from swans to the Starship Enterprise. The theme of the parade this year was Discovery, in honor of the 500th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's trip to the New World. In all 60 floats, 22 marching bands and 29 equestrian units participated in this wonderful parade. That's going to do it for us tonight. Again, Happy New Year. We'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget Eyewitness Morning News at 6 a.m. When you see news, call Newsline 9 at 365-9999. Newsline 9 makes you a part of the Eyewitness News team.